So a very good day to anyone listening. Uh, my name is Colin Chang and I'm going to do a series of financial management videos based on the syllabus or course outline of AB1201 NTU Financial Management Module for first year MBS students. So for this video, I'm just going to share a bit about my background and the objective of doing this video. So the next video of this series, which is about time value of money, is going to be the cornerstone of the entire course and in fact, almost every single financial course built on your time value of money concept. So it would be great if you can set aside your time and attention to listen to my next video. So a little bit more about me. I'm a year four accountancy and business student. I took financial management about say two to three years ago and achieved an A plus grade. And I hope that through my videos, you can also achieve that too. And I opted for the banking and finance major, where I took various modules that build on your financial management concepts. So I can safely say from experience that having a good financial management background would make your life a lot more easier if you are deciding to major in banking and finance. Or take on banking and finance as your second specialization, which is a popular option for those accountancy students. So building on my financial management concepts, I also achieved an A plus in investments and A in, an A in equities or stock valuation, as well as an A in fixed income securities, which is otherwise known as bonds. And I also obtained an A minus in international finance, as well as also an A minus in corporate finance. So for those keen in banking and finance, do work hard for this module. So why am I doing these videos? Besides being paid for doing them, I also hope that my videos will benefit others by being a complement to your lecture or tutorial or seminar. So the financial management concepts are highly interlinked. Seminar 3 to 13 will probably build on your Seminar 2 content and Seminar 8, for example, will build on your Seminar 6 and 7. So if you didn't grasp any concepts in your previous classes or you simply switch off momentarily at the critical moment, you will find that subsequent lessons will be harder and harder to follow. So ideally, I hope that you can watch my video before each of your class and in that way, it should be easier for you to follow especially if your prof is going fast. So my videos will be mainly focused on building up your core concepts through work examples. So I'll break down each question in a systematic step-by-step -step approach and I will exclude certain standalone concepts which I deem as easily understandable as well as content that is FYI in nature. So besides, I'll also be sharing my study tips and exam techniques along the way, as well as at the end of this video series. So your next question is, how do you want to get a good grade for FM? Which is financial management in short. So the key would be practice, practice, and even more practice. It is almost impossible to expect an A plus grade just by reading your seminar notes or your reading your textbook over and over again. You're going to have to do those questions yourself rather than just imagining yourself doing them. So practice can come from tutorial questions, doing them a few over times, or questions from the textbook, and of course your best source of practice, past year papers. So I will have quite many questions in my videos, but these examples are designed more to facilitate your learning and they do not have the curveballs or the traps that you can expect in your final exams. So my advice would be to practice the questions in these videos before attempting your tutorial question. So leave the past year papers for your exam prep. And it also be best if you can actually do the examples in these videos as I discuss them with you. So okay, that will be it for the intro video and hope that you're all fired up to get an A plus for your financial management. So in the next part of this video series, we are going to discuss about time value of money and just to re-emphasize again, time value of money is very, very important. So I hope that you can join me for the next video.